in this video, I'm going to discuss the last example for normal distribution, actually second to the last. Here we have the probability that uh, Z is greater than negative 1.34 but less than 1.58. The first thing that we need to do is to draw and locate negative 1.34 and 1.58. As you can see, it is look negative 1.34 is in between negative 1 and negative, negative 2 while 1.58 is in between 1 and 2. Aside from that, since uh, the we are looking for z is greater than negative 1.34 but less than 1.58, the shaded portion is the in-between. So we are going to find the corresponding probability for z is uh, less than negative 1.34 because we have here negative 1.34. We have one point, negative 1.3 and 0 0.04. That will be 0 0.0901. And for 1.58, we have here 1.5 and 0 0.08. So that will be 0 0.9429. So here we have the probability that the Z is less than negative 1.34 is 0 0.0901. And we also have here the probability that Z is less than 1.58 is 0.9429. Since the shaded uh, region is between two Z values, we are going to subtract the bigger value by the smaller value. In other words, the probability that Z is greater than negative 1.34 but less than 1.58 can also be written as the probability that z is less than 1.58 minus the probability that z is less than negative 1.34 and that will be 0.9429 minus 0 0.0901 and it is equal to 0.8528 to illustrate further we have your negative 1.34 and anything below or to the left of this is its area is 0 0.0901 while for 1.58 as we all know that is 0 0.9429 so what I did or yes what I did is I subtract 0 0.9429 by 0 0.0901 so I obtain here 0.8528 so this is the area of the shaded region in other words the probability that Z is greater than negative 1.34 but less than 1.58 is 0.8528. Standardizing normal random variable in solving real life problems involving the normal curve, it is particularly important to convert a random variable X to a standard normal variable or Z score. This procedure is known as standardizing or standardization of a random variable where a standardized value is called a z-score. A z-score is a measure of the number of standard deviations a particular data value is away from the mean. The formula used in converting a random variable x to a standard normal variable z is z equals x minus the mean and it will be divided by the difference will be divided by the standard deviation so we have here the formula and the question is what is the meaning of the variables in this formula we all know that z is the standard normal score it's also known as the z score x is any data value in a normal distribution. So that is what we're going to transform. Mu is the mean and the sigma here is the standard deviation. To give you an example, each month a Filipino household generates an average of 28 pounds of newspaper for garbage or recycling. 
assumed that the distribution is normal with a standard deviation of 2 pounds. If a household is selected at random, find the probability of its generating between 27 and 31 pounds per month. So the first thing that we need to do here is to transform these two uh, value for the random variable into its corresponding z-score. So how are we going to do that? First, let us identify the mean. First, the mean. That is 28. It is given earlier. The standard deviation is 2. The first uh, value for the random variable x is 27 while the second one is 31 and this is what we're going to transform z, so z sub 1 is the corresponding z score for uh, x sub 1 and z sub 2 is the corresponding z score for x sub 2 or 31 So we have here z sub 1 equals x sub 1 minus mu all over mean. You all know that x sub 1 is 27, mu is 28, sigma is 2. Performing the operation, we have z sub 1 as negative 0.5. For z sub 2, x sub 2 minus mu all over standard deviation. For x sub 2, we have 31 minus the mean 28 all over 2, which is the standard deviation. So we have here 1.5. And these two are the corresponding z-score of 27 and 31. So how are we going to transform? We're going to use the formula. So, moreover, since we are asked for the probability that x is greater than 27 but less than 31, we transform it into its corresponding z-score. Just transforming it, we have the probability that z is less than or greater than point, negative 0 0.5 but less than 1.5. And as we all know, we can also write it this way. Probability of z less than 1.5 minus probability that z is less than negative 1 point or negative 0 0.5. And using the table, we have 0 0.9332 minus 0 0.3058. So we have... The probability that x is greater than 27 but less than 31 is 0.6247 or 62.47%. So that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you are able to understand all of this. This is already available at my website. And uh, see you on the next videos.